Namaste everyone. This is Ujasvi Singh of class 8 from Sandhagam International School. So today I'll be discussing with you the object follower robot. As said by the name, this robot follows the objects when the objects come in front of this robot. Firstly, we need Arduino Uno. Then we need a breadboard. After that, we need a motor driver. Then we need our two IR sensors, some jumper wires and of course a power bank. So let's look at the diagram. Now over here we have our IR sensor. Now I would like to explain to you these four components which are inside of this sensor. Firstly, we see that we have a photo diode and the IR LED. Now this IR LED just goes on and omits infrared rays. So these IR, this IR LED omits the infrared rays and then the object in front of the robot omits those rays and reflects those rays back which is then detected by the photodiode. Then we have a potentiometer right over here. We have the LM358 and then we have an indication LED which tells us that the current is flowing through this IR sensor right now. We have the three rays of this IR sensor VCC, GND and output pin also known as the operational pin. So, as I have given you a definition already on this object for a robot, I would like to tell you that when an object comes in front of the left IR sensor of this robot, the robot will start moving towards the left. And when an, an object comes to the right side of the IR sensor, at that time the object will start moving to the right. If there is an object which stands in front of both the sensors, then the object will keep moving forward. If there is no object right over here, that means that no uh, uh, infrared rays are being reflected back by the object. So the current won't flow, uh, won't flow through our IR sensor, and the object will stay, uh, and our robot will stay at its place. So the software in which we go on with our coding and write down the codes is known as the Arduino IDE. IDE over here stands for Integrated Developing Environment. We just go on, write down our coding to make this object follow a robot, and then we uh, and then we upload the coding from our software to this Arduino Uno using our USB cable. Over here, the IR sensor which we have in this robot is the active sensor. So when the, uh, when there is an object in front of this robot, the number which will be displayed to us will be one. And when there is not even a single object in front of this uh, robot, at the time the value which will be displayed to us is zero. So that's the way our binary language system works. And that's also how we get to know that is our robot working. Now, let's see the actual practical working of our object follower robot. So here, I've used, uh, I've used an USB cable and connected our robot to a power bank right over here. And now let's see how this robot works. So, as I've taken my hand, and right over here, I have placed it in front of both the sensors. So the, uh, so the robot is moving in front and it's moving completely straight forward. Then, let's go on and place a hand on, in front of the right uh, IR sensor. As we see, the robot is turning around to the right side. If we go on and place our hand in front of the left IR sensor, the same thing will happen, but in the left side. And just like that, we have also seen the practical working of our robot. So, this was all from my side and I would like you guys to stay tuned with us for more informative videos. Thank you.